Okay, so here we are on the outside, <coughs> on the north elevation, taking four holes out along where the damp areas are and the mold rope is. Uh, on the first hole, which was in the corner, you can see the dampness uh, having a tight line here on the inside. Um, firstly, external observation, you've got green algae right next to it. If I look up, Just where the gutter meets the, the root tile there, you can see a little gap in the lead uh, where water can potentially drip down from the roof uh, onto the pipes. And that green algae there says that um, you've got water splashing off the ground. Uh, anyway, so in the hole, we have debris reaching the cavity. See it's dry in there now, but um, yeah, that's it shouldn't be in there. So we'll get that removed, and uh, yeah, that should be okay there. Next hole, we had a um, old boiler flue blocked up, and that was. All the mortar is around there, but as you can see, they've just stuck a block in. And it's breaching the cavity there, so another cold spot. Uh, notice that there's there's nothing in there. Um, although the property's insulated, there's nothing in there. Now, having a visual inspection on, on the walls, normally you would see the holes where they've uh, done their injection, which you can see here. here and then you've got two more one there and one there now along the rest of it if you follow the line across which they should have injected along here somewhere but there isn't anything um, as to why they didn't do that, I don't know. Maybe because of the garage next door. But uh, this is the insulation industry. So <laughs> you can see the insulation in here. And again, a little void and an air brick down there. Uh, there was a cavity brush, a bottle brush here inside that bridged the air brick so that the insulation in the hole um, that was quite high above the DPC, internal DPC so again if there's material above it and there's a slight void there that creates a cold spot for any excess moisture to condense on the inside uh, which I, I think has happened we will reinstate the insulation there um, much to my <laughs> disappointment but um, yeah there's obviously a a problem going on with excess moisture in the property. Uh, again, here there's no insulation. You can see the cable that went into the internal wall, and it's because there's no insulation, and there's insulation to the right hand side of the property, it's, um, it's a cold spot. So, overall, there's Obviously, excess moisture in the property um, and cold spots because it's been partially insulated. Um, my recommendation to the customer would be to uh, try and control the the moisture level inside the property uh, and bring it down to stop the, the condensation occurring. But uh, the real problem is that <coughs> it's it's partially insulated, so either take out the insulation which I would sort of <laughs> recommend purely because it's um, it causes a lot of problems with uh, excess humidity or damp um, and leave the cavities completely clear or get the installers back and fill the rest of the cavity so there we go that's uh, that's that not rising damp and worth checking <laughs>